So, you don't know how to handle weapons, armor, or clothes. Not a problem. Let's start with clothes. Believe it or not, the way you animate clothes is the same way you animate most anything else. You weight paint it. If you download any professional model from Smash Bros, Soul Calibur, Tekken, or Dead or Alive, you'll notice that in many cases the body underneath the skin has been deleted. There is no body underneath the clothes. And that's because you don't want to waste processing power on polygons that you can't see. It also fixes the problem of the skin clipping through the clothes. Even things like capes and gowns are usually controlled with the standard bone and weight painting technique. And if you are exporting to a game engine, I highly, HIGHLY recommend using their cloth-based physics instead. Because both Unreal and Unity have AMAZING cloth physics assets that are not only way easier to use, but also look real good and have built-in collision physics that you don't have to set up. Which makes it easy to apply to flags, coats, dresses, or capes, while automatically taking care of all the clipping problems for you. The good ones even react to environmental damage and can be ripped apart or destroyed absolutely seamlessly. And it's so goddamn efficient, your computer would never believe it. So for clothes, the general rule is delete any skin that you can't see and then weight paint it the same way you would anything else. And if you have things like capes or gowns, then I recommend using the wiggle add-on with rotation constraints attached in order to control the second motion. Alright, so what about weapons like swords and shields and guns? Well, it's actually pretty easy. In edit mode, click on the hand bone, shift D to duplicate it, name it, and make sure that it's parented to the hand. Then go back to object mode, click your weapon, shift click the skeleton, go to pose mode, click the bone that you want to attach the weapon to, control P to parent, select the bone, you're done. Make sure that you wrap the fingers around the weapon properly. And from now on, if you move the hand, the weapon will follow. But you will always be able to have extra control over the weapon with the bone in case you need it. Now armor is actually the same process, just a bit easier. Just click the object in edit mode, shift click the skeleton, then in pose mode, click the bone that you want the armor to be attached to, press ctrl P, and pick bone. And that's it, nothing else to it. Just repeat the process for each piece of armor and you're all set. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.